Hello, everyone, and welcome to Book Trips 15 Minutes with Amaramas Media Production. Today, we are thrilled to welcome the Ula Guru, Troy Amdal, and Ula Seeker, David Braun. Troy and David, better known as the Ula Guys, are co-authors of international best-selling book series, which starts with Ula, Find Balance in an Unbalanced World. They're experts on the work-life balance and sharing the Ula phenomenon, currently crisscrossing the country in their 1970s BW surf bus, which couldn't be cooler. Troy and David are hoping to change the world with one word, Ula. So thank you both so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely. So uh, one of you, explain for me kind of the ULA life and how we're affecting people's lives for the better with it. You know, ULA started as what we worked on in our own lives, like how to find balance in these seven areas. So the essence of ULA is really being true to what you want for your life. But the essence of ULA is finding balance in these seven areas, fitness, finance, family, field, which is your career, faith, friends, and fun. Because the unbalanced world of 2,000 calories around every corner and over finance and unhealthy friendships, unhealthy relationships starts to weigh you down. In the first book, I play the role of the ULA seeker because I had my ULA. I had I was living this balanced and growing life. And then I lost my ULA. And that's when I reached out to Dr. Troy. And he plays the role of the ULA guru because he's the guy that maintained and continued to grow his ULA throughout his whole life. So what happens with the ULA life, it's really looking at your life and saying, okay, what do I want for my life in these seven areas? Not just having tons of money and having bad relationships with your right. kids, or have an amazing relationship with your kids and no money, it's how can you have it all? And that's really the essence of ULA is how can you get to life knowing there's this greatness inside of you and go have your ULA life. So when I lost my ULA and I reached out to Dr. Troy, I said, okay, I, I need to get my ULA back. How do I right. do that? And he simply said, start with these three steps. Where are you in these seven areas? Where do you want to go and how are you going to get there? And then when I got my ULA back, Troy said, you know, you made a promise that when you get your ULA life back, you're going to write a book on it or you're going to share this with the world. How do you want to do that? And we started to outline the process of ULA. And that process became a book. And that book is what's tapped into people. They, they read the book and they go, I want this ULA life. And now that book has become a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle of living the life you want. And the, the ultimate like sample of that, or the, ultimate, the ultimate look of that is a 1970s V-Dub bus, which is just freedom. And surfboards on top and living your ULA life. And that, that's, what, that's what the essence of ULA is, is living the life you want to live authentically, not what your parents want or your neighbors want. What do you want, that authentic ULA life that you want? And then living it in these seven categories. So ultimately, the message that you're really trying to share here to the masses is just this ULA life, this balanced life. Is that right? Yeah, and that's that's the thing that's resonated. When we when we went out and told our story, we were selling books out of the back of a VW surf bus. And anybody who's written a book or known anything about books, after 120,000, we, we quit keeping track. And we yeah. go, there's something here. There's a there's a message that's resonating. And the reason is, is as a culture, we've, we've let the culture tell us what success looks like. Mm. Like, if you have this much money and you're married to this type of person living in this neighborhood, driving this car, then you will be happy. Right. And what we're saying in ULA, we're not telling, we're not the guys with like, slick back here in a pocket square saying, if you do the seven things we do, you will be amazing like us. We are on this journey with you. And we're saying all we all we're saying is each one of you are designed for greatness inside of this. Out, you take off the debt, you take off the health issues, you take off the toxic relation, the passive aggressive drama ridden negative friend, and you remove this, you'll start to see the spark of someone that's amazing. And you have unique gifts and abilities unique gifts and abilities inside of you. And we're saying, pursue that, like get back in touch with that. Like, what are your financial dreams? Not what someone else told you. Some people want to be a billionaire. That's amazing. Um, some people, Bruno Mars wants to be a billionaire. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. And other, other people just want to have enough money to have a roof over sure. their head and food on the table. It's, it's what's unique to you. And some people, we met a gal in Oklahoma, her story's in our next book. And we were talking about uniquely be you. And she stands up in the crowd and goes, I want to be a goat farmer. I'm like, great idea. Cause you can have that because I'm sure nobody else wants to do that. Like, and that's that's the thing is the whole book is says just be open to being who you were designed to be and boldly go pursue that. What are your what are your goals in all seven of these areas? Avoid these ULA blockers like fear, guilt, anger, and self-sabotage and laziness, and embrace these accelerators like love and gratitude, and then follow these three simple steps and you can find your ULA life. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, speaking of those, you've got these three different areas of, of sevens, basically. Did, was that on purpose or did that just kind of happen? It was really, it goes, it goes back to the process that Dr. Troy introduced me to years ago um, when I, I graduated with my doctorate and he said, let's start working on your life. And I, I had no idea what that meant because I had set maybe like a sports goal and maybe a goal to go to college, but I've never looked at my life in these seven areas. So what Dr. Troy taught me at that time is he said, there's these seven areas of life, fitness, finance, family, field, your career, faith, friends, and fun. And there's three ways to find success in all those. The first step is you have to know where you are. We call it the Ula wheel, where you are in these mm-hmm. seminaries. You have to call it out. If your finances are terrible, you need to call it out and say, okay, my finance, I have a ton of debt. My finances are bad. Or if your relationship is bad or your career, you're not pursuing the career you want, right. you have to call it out and look at it. So that's step one is where are you in these seven areas? And step two is where do you want to go? It's called the Ula plan. It's that dreaming and goal setting stage of what do you want for your family life? That's, that's what really took me by surprise way back in 1997 (laughs) is just, I don't know where I want to go. I've never thought I knew what I wanted for sports in college, but I've never thought about where do I want to go with my family, my finances, where I want my faith, what kind of fun do I want to have this year? What are my goals? And then the the last step, the third step is the ULA path. And that's how are you going to get there? And that's planning it out, tapping into mentors. What's getting in the ways of one of the blockers, like fear, guilt, self-sabotage. How can you tap into the accelerators of passion, wisdom, integrity, and take these three steps, where am I today, where do I want to go, and how am I going to get there, apply to all seven Fs, and grow and balance your life all at the same time. And to come back to your question about the sevens, mm. I think, you know, the, the organic, we have, on social media, I didn't even, I had a Hotmail email account, you know, like before all this started, and now we have nearly a million people following the bus, collecting a million dreams, and it's a movement of a community of people supporting, supporting each other, but I also think that's why, people ask us, why is it so sticky? I mean, why can't you get Ula out of your brain once it gets in there? And it's these simple concepts. Um, personal development, Personal development. I mean, they're like, you could build a house with like these brick foundations of books that give you uh, 572 things that if you do 572 things, you'll be amazing. And we've, breaking it, we've broken it down into seven areas. There's seven things that can get in your way. There's yeah. seven things that'll take you there faster and three steps to get there. So seven also is by design because seven is the complete number. We sold thousands of hats with Ulana. They have seven snapbacks on the snapback. You know, everything we do, there's seven of these affirmation bands. If I'm working on one of the, they're color coded. Like we've simplified the process into a process because Dave mentioned it. This didn't start out as a book. This was something we did to pull out the best version of us that turned into a book that is actually a process. And which has turned into a book series now, customizing it in our next book for women. using stories, not our stories anymore, but stories of everyday women doing amazing things using these principles and how it's transformed their life. So how does this idea also work? Because this is increasingly something so important for employees. How does this idea work into the work-life balance and and what can people do to use it as help? So go ahead, Troy. So in, in this is the culture that, you know, we have the millennials. And then we have like the old schoolers, right? Mm-hmm. Old schoolers are like, I'm going to work until I'm 65 mm-hmm. and then I'm going to hop on a cruise ship with a golf club in my hand and see the world. Exactly. And millennials are like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, let's slow it down and enjoy friendships and quality relationships and yeah. see the world and travel when I'm young. And that's where this is, this is merged to where people are seeing it, that's really why this balance is so important Absolutely. because life has taught us and the people we interact with that both things are important. You need a work ethic and you need to sacrifice to win and pay off debt and get a good job and provide and take go to the gym. And but at the same time, don't wait until you're 65 to live life fully. And that's that's where this balance comes in of of these were the principles we lived. I retired at 42. And even when I was working, I eventually I went from working very, very hard six days a week, didn't see my kids to working five days a week, to working three days a week, to working two days a month, to working not working um so, and now working nonstop. Yeah. yeah now this guy pulled me out of retirement to write the, to tell the story and we didn't think we, we we wrote the book and we had a sheet of paper i wish we would have saved it like one of those yellow pads mm-hmm. with 42 names on it like my brother will buy a book your sister's rich and she's super sweet she'll buy five we had 42 names of how many books anybody who's written a book will re- respect this like i think we can go to 42 let's order 100 you know <laughs> so so we never really thought it would turn into what it's turned into but it's I have worked harder than I ever did in my working years, but it's been a blast because when you see someone on that bus, grab a Sharpie and declare positive change and say, I'm going to pay off that credit card or I'm going to heal my marriage 
or I'm going to I'm going to have faith again and they slap it on that bus and declare positive change in their life. I mean, it just that's the fuel in that bus. That's what keeps us rolling from city to city. That's amazing. And this this new book, which I have, Ula for Women. There's the bus. I love Yay, the bus. There's the bus. And everyone can go see the, the bus in a city near you coming soon, um, which we'll talk about in a moment. But for this second book, Ula for Women, Seven Key Areas of Life, Have Less Stress, More Purpose, Reveal the Greatness Within You. What what made you decide that this 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 particular book was kind of next in the series, that this was necessary? This, this is such like such an interesting question because what happened is we we basically ask people who follow Ula. You know, you talk about Ula turn into a lifestyle a phenomenon. Mm-hmm. People get Ula tattoos and like live Ula across their knuckles, like the whole thing. Like it's a little That's crazy. Awesome. And crazy. we said, what do you guys want? Like, and it was like a live event. So we have these Ula Palooza events. It's like, what do you want? We kept hearing over and over and over. Ula for women, Ula for women, Ula for women. We're like, we're two dudes. Like, <laughs> I don't get why they want Ula for women. And when we started breaking down and looking at our social media platforms, it's over 90% women. And Dr. Okay. Troy talked about millennials. We have 25 to 55 year old women who, and what we realize is like women are the ultimate multitaskers in life with kids and career and, yeah. and friendships and, and just working on maybe it's a marriage or other relationships or whatever they're working on. There's ultimate multitaskers. And they're like, we want a book specific for women. And we like, okay, so if two dudes do this, it's going to literally be open up and it'll be like 200 blank pages. Like, I don't know. Much. <laughs> I have four sisters, four daughters, but that's my knowledge on that. So we're like, let's work with the women that we continually run into in the bus that are putting stickers and dreams on the bus and what they want. And then we also teamed up with Janet Switzer, who has written some New York Times bestselling books and said, okay, how do we help women find balance in their life? And what we decided is we'll, the principles of Ula are the same for men and women. It's balancing these seven areas of life, right. the three simple steps. You're going to all run into fear, guilt, self-sabotage, whether you're male or female. You're going to have the ability to tap into gratitude, love, passion, whether you're male or female. But let's take these inspirational stories of ordinary women doing extraordinary things, and let's pull them into the book as the seeker and the guru. So each chapter in the book starts off, let's say the chapter on family, we break down what family looks like, what a toxic family relationship looks like. How do you how do you protect yourself from that? And then we tell a story of a woman, an ordinary woman that's done extraordinary mm-hmm. things in the category of family, and she's finding her guru life and family. Or someone who's still seeking that, someone who's gone through a divorce and working through the process of finding balance after something tragic has happened. And then we give the three tips to finding more balance and growth in your family. So it's wow. been just an incredibly intense project mm. to write it. It's been intense, in, like incredibly emotional to write it, to interview these women and get their stories and, and talk to them and see their stories change over time. And, and to put them in this book is just like, it's like such an honor to be able to do it. So, so really the next book in the series, Ula for Women came about, that's what we were asked to do over and over and over and over. Okay. So we thought, how can we do this? And how can we honor women, our daughters, our, our sisters? How can we honor them in this book? And um, I, I have mine right here too. And I'm Yay. proud to say that I, I'm so proud of this book. Like it's awesome. just, it's turned out to be such a great book. And the people that have started to read it are just loving the concepts and how it relates to women. And the crazy thing I found is as a man, um, I talked to Troy about this. We should just get little stickers that hide the, the W and the <laughs> O. And it could almost be for men because as I read this as a guy, I'm reading this book, you forget you wrote it sometimes. Right. And you're reading this and it helps you understand women. Like it really helps you get like what women go through and some of the struggles they have. So it's, it's a, we're super proud of it. That's awesome. So let's talk quickly cause we're almost, we're almost wrapping up here, but let's talk about the Ula dream tour. Um, people can come see you sitting near them. You're driving around in this VW bus so they cannot miss you. Um, <laughs> trekking across the country. How awesome, how excited are you? And tell us a few of the cities you're going to. Super excited. So this like this thing's been going on for a while. It started off as a blue yeah. bus. It's about six layers thick in dreams already. Amazing. The next leg, the next leg is we're gonna literally touch the Atlantic Ocean and take it all the way to the Pacific Ocean. Perfect. Um, so we've done 23 states. We're gonna cover eight new states and plus revisit a couple other ones. Okay. And we're gonna be doing book signings at Barnes and Noble. We'll be doing some free events and some talks. But really, the most enjoyment comes of just meeting random people at coffee shops and parks. And they walk up to the bus and they go. 
you selling dope? And we go, no, no, no. <laughs> maybe hope, maybe yeah, hope. Oh, not dope. <laughs> but it, we get that. Believe it or not, we get that. And we, say, and we explain to them, someone who knows nothing about Ulu, and we say, we just believe you're designed to be great. And sometimes you can't see that because life's just happening. Right. What is a dream you have for your life? And you watch them just co- hold that Sharpie and that sticker and contemplate, what do I want? And what am I capable of? And it is the coolest thing you can ever do in the planet. One dream at a time. Our goal, our motto, if you go, go to ulalife.com and you can see this tour schedule. Yeah. Uh, and you go to the event page, uh, facebook.com, ulalife. But our motto is one bus, two guys, 50 states, a million dreams. And we're, people can submit their dreams online too, by the way. And we're going to do this because that's how we change the world with a word. Because we realize we're not going to go to 500 people talks and 1,000 people mm-hmm. talks and 200 people talks. If we're going to change the world, we have to empower people to make positive change. And then that pushes off a light that inspires the people around them to do the same and so on and so on. And that's how collectively together we can change the world with this one word, Ula. Absolutely. Well, that's awesome. So big things happening for 2017 and forward. Um, you've got to get to that, to those million dreams, if not more. And, and you want to go worldwide here, right? Absolutely. Yeah. We're going to start, we're starting with in the U.S., but yeah, we want to change the, it's not change the U.S. with a word, it's change the world with a word. So <laughs> we're, we're going to get it. All right. Well, that sounds good. So in everything we do, obviously, we can all live this ULA life. Uh, that includes social media as well. So share your dream. Um, go to ulalife.com. Uh, tell Troy and David what's going on in your ULA life. They are on Twitter. Make sure you hashtag ULA life. And it, they are at ULA guru and ULA seeker. And uh, definitely keep an eye out because they're coming to a city near you. So that is also super exciting. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. And getting your dreams on the bus for sure. Definitely. Well, thank you both so much for joining us and being here. We had such a great time. Thank you. I hope the viewers did too. Thank you again. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Bye.